All right, Jason, thank you. And following up now with a break in at a Buddhist temple in Virginia Beach. We reported in May the person who stole thousands from a group of monks came forward and admitted to that crime. But we just learned that the monks are not handing the thief over to police. Ten on your side, Deanna LeBlanc joins us now with their take on justice. Deanna? Well, Stephanie, lots of times when we air surveillance video, it does help identify a suspect. That person may get arrested or go to jail. Not in this case. Instead, this is a story about redemption and forgiveness. This surveillance video shows a man breaking into the Dong Hung Temple this winter and trying to tamper with a box that holds donations. Then in April, that person comes back with a friend and succeeds in walking away with the cash. But after we first aired these clips, the culprit turned himself in. The person involved and his mother were so moved by what they saw, they came forward to the temple. It's a person many might never want to see again. Some might hope he sits behind bars, but not these Buddhists. Instead, they've put him to work to pay off his debt and have welcomed him with open arms. Because we're all going to err. You know, we have all, at some point in our life, wanted redemption. We have all done things that we have truly regretted. And we have all been at that time in our lives when I'd like to turn myself around. The monks dropped the charges, instead focusing on their core principles, forgiveness and redemption. The man told me he was high when he stole the money and immediately spent it on drugs. And though he took so much from the temple's members, they're all giving him their full support. I come from a similar place that he is. You know, I've been, I've been clean for 12 years now. And, uh, you know, hopefully in 12 years he can be where I'm at. Temple member Sean Bergren is now mentoring the man. This summer they'll build an addition to the temple as a form of restitution and a road to recovery. If someone comes forward, has the courage to do what this young man did, to come forward and say, hey, that's me, that took a lot of courage. And so if someone does that, I think that's pretty profound. Well, the monks tell me they'd like to install a better security system now, but they need your help. They've sent up a GoFundMe. If you'd like to donate, we'll put a link to that for you up on wavy.com. Now, as for the other man you saw in the surveillance video, the monks say they'll help him if he comes forward, too. In the newsroom, I'm Deanna LeBlanc. Ten on your side.